Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and we're on the floor here at the huge wet trade show in Indianapolis, Indiana. And one thing we talk about with our customers when we're doing training is the importance of oil changes for your hydrojetter machine. And, and it seems like an obvious thing, but you know, we do it for our vehicles and whatnot. But with a high pressure pumping system, such as a hydrojetter, you know, there's more than one in oil to be concerned with. Many of you know, of course, we need to check and change our engine oil, and many of these higher power engines like this 31 horsepower Kawasaki has an oil filter, much like a small car engine. We've also, of course, got our high pressure pump, which all of these hydrojetters here have. And this one in particular has a nice dipstick to take a look at your oil level. And it's one thing to be concerned with, it's not just oil level, it's how clean is that oil? So when you look at your pump oil level, you want to also see, is that oil clean and clear or is it starting to turn gray or milky white? What that would tell you is that your high pressure seals here are wearing out and they're actually blowing high pressure water back into the crankcase. That will not lubricate your pump. Back here is just connecting rods and a crankshaft just like an engine would have. And if you start to see your oil looking milky white or gray, you need to shut down and get that pump serviced because your high pressure seals have probably worn out and you're creating some blow by. Also, unlike our unit and many others, there is a transmission or gearbox on the in-between that uses gear oil. And that needs to be changed regularly as well. So refer to your manual on the oil change schedules for these items. We often um, recommend, don't get too hung up on how many hours this and how many hours that. Put it on a calendar schedule. Uh, a simple way we recommend it is you change your oils your, on everything after about 30, 40, 50, 60 hours as a break-in. And then, and that includes changing an oil filter on an engine. And then after that, you're kind of changing every other time. What I mean is, if I've changed everything one time, then say the next quarter or whenever it comes up, roughly these run in about a 100 hour interval, you would change your engine oil, don't worry about the filter, and then after the next interval, you change everything, engine, transmission, and pump, and replace your oil filter. So again, refer to your manuals for these things. And just really want to give you a heads up on, again, seeing what that oil looks like, especially in the high pressure pump, and avoid running your machine if that oil's looking gray or milky. All right, again, Steve with Jetters Northwest. Little bit of maintenance tips for you there. Get out there and get jetting.